Bill and Ben, characters which have made it through the model series into the CGI series and obtained red wheels for some reason. And of course, there is a bit of mystery shrouding them and let's take a look at them. I am also joined by the awesome Thomas Fan 261 Let's get right into it. Now then, today we're going to be talking about the Bill and Ben Harvest set released by Playrail. And of, uh, over to you, Thomas Fan 261 The Playrail Bill & Ben Harbour set was released in 2002 and it's pretty interesting because it was the only release of the Playrail Bill in Japan. Ben was sold separately but Bill himself wasn't, meaning that the only way for people from Japan to get Bill was from this set. This set is also one of the only two sets that included the Cranky at the docks destination. And interestingly, the version of Cranky in this set is coloured in a dark green, while the other Crankies, the ones that were released in the US, Australia and the UK, are coloured in a light grey, which means there is another version of it. Motor Mode and Rail Ben does exist, but it has different markings underneath and was released five years after Ben. He also has his eyes facing right for some reason. Make sure to subscribe to my channel where I do some pretty awesome reviews of some Thomas and Friends media. I'll see you there. Goodbye. Very good explanation, however, if there is something which I would like to add, it is that the dark green cranky actually did come in another set, which was the Thomas's Crew set, released in 2010, also by Playrail, of course, however, it did not have the same base, so I don't believe it counts. Back onto the subject of the Bill and Ben Harbour Friends set, however, there actually was another set which featured a twin character which was only released in that set, that being the Donald and Douglas snowplow set, including the only release of the Playrail Douglas. You see how all of these things add up now? I've got no idea what their problem was. If you look at a promo for a lot of these characters, including Thumper, I may add, you will see that neither Douglas or Bill are even featured on here. It's pretty interesting. Such was the case with the Let's Play Thomas and Bash log loading and unloading set, which was the only release of Playrail Bash, which was the twin of Dash. So it seems as if it's a tradition with Playrail, I'll be honest with you. Not a very good one, as it just makes it very hard to obtain these items. Anyway, I'm getting way off topic. Let's get back to what I was talking about earlier, of course, Playrail Bill. Now, however, I would also like to dedicate a section to this video to all of the other models of Bill, those being the Motor Road and Rail one, which came in this rather nice packaging, and Hip Toys Bill, which is quite interesting as well because of the amount of packaging and things which were sold in him. Let's get right into it. Well, our story starts off with when Hit Toys made Bill as a singular engine, and he was sold in Walmart and the blister style packaging. So there's two versions of packaging for this version. Then Toys R Us came along and they were like, yes, we like this model, and they made it into a three pack with Bill, a bolster wagon, and a slate car. This will come in handy later on in the video. And the packaging for this set is just really nice. I really do like the three pack packaging which Hit Toys made. It's just so eye appealing. That's not the end of the Hit Toy Company bills because on the back of one packaging or another there was this image of a Trackmaster bill but with just an orange truck at the end. And sure enough, Hit Toys made it and it looks really, really good in this packaging. I don't believe that it exists in any other version of packaging and unfortunately it was the last Hit Toys bill released ever. Moving on, we've got Trapmaster Fisher Price. Guess they thought it was a good idea what Hit did, so they released Bill on his own. And I've only found images of this boxy style of packaging, which I'd assume is Walmart style packaging, but I'm not too sure. However, he was released again with that, you know, orange car, which we were talking about earlier. However, it's a bit darker color, I'm not too sure. Maybe it's just the image saturation quality. And however, this was released in this sort of packaging, and that blister sort of packaging. So we did get a Fisher Price blister bin bill. 
Oh, and the singular bill was also released in this packaging. However, it was released after the one with the car, so it's all very, very confusing. However, there is one more thing, and that is, of course, the marvelous knockoff bill. And here they are, Bill and Ben. And whilst Ben looks as if he has seen some things, Bill, on the contrary, looks just like his Playrail model, with his eyes facing weirdly to the right, but they're coloured in, and he's got the Fisher Price body mould instead of the Playrail one. What an interesting character design! And he also comes in this box, as well as Ben, without any cargo or anything. So, once again, the knockoff strike, whilst I would not recommend purchasing Ben for the sake of your own sanity, but if you're looking to purchase a Bill and you just don't have enough money for the Hit or the Playrail one, then this is a good alternative, as they pretty much nailed him. Some jokes are funny, but not this one.